Hey everybody, Apple here, and I'm on the laptop. So I figure before I go home tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow afternoon, and go back to my crappy computer, I might as well get some use out of this laptop that I'm borrowing from my aunt, which I'm very thankful, by the way, and uh, just make a couple of videos. And then after that, until I get my computer fixed, no more Terminator talks. Anyway, uh, the first one I wanted to make is about... Uh, in Magic is My, you might have noticed Tonks and Voldemort talking a lot. And I got a lot of people saying, I don't get it, but it's very entertaining. Uh, you're probably wondering where we, where Tom and I got the idea, where we interacted pretty much every day. Um, it wasn't planned. I can tell you that. It was not planned at first. Um, when I went into, you know, being Tonks, I did not, I thought, oh, well, me and Tom aren't going to talk that much. And I have to be honest, uh, Tom, uh, at this point recently started as an editor for Wizarding Life. And then we got the idea for Mag Magic is Might, and then he got the part of Voldemort. And so, like, I knew Tom from Facebook, but we were, you know, we were Facebook friends. We'd comment every once in a while on each other's statuses or like something, you know, every once in a while. But we weren't really that close of friends. I mean, you can even ask Tom and Bella, you know, we weren't that close of friends. Because um, we didn't know each other. We just knew each other on Facebook. Um, and so we started doing Magic is Might. And Tom, being the Voldemort that he is, wanted to make, you know, kind of pick on some order members, you know, just kind of bring down the rebellion kind of thing. And he, and I started interacting with him and he said, um, uh, that, you know, I always had something that's what, and Bella told me this too. That's why she loved interacting with me. I expected to interact with Bella a good bit being Bellatrix. So I knew I would probably talk to her some, you know, just be like, I hate you. I can't wait to kill you kind of thing. Um, they told me, you know, I was really good at interacting and coming up with, you know, something witty to say or just the Tonks face. And uh, so it's kind of like with an actor, uh, you, when you're in, when you do stage work, like you improv or something, you, um, you kind of pick a person out if you, like, say you're doing improv. Uh, you kind of pick a person out, and whoever, like, kind of feeds back to you, you know, gives you something to work with, that's the person who you're going to work with the most. And because I always had, you know, some smart aleck thing to say, and because Tonks went through a lot, uh, that's why uh, Tom and Bella interacted with me as often as they did. So no, it's not exactly canon, and we got, and we kind of BS'd our way uh, to saying that um, we were using a magical communication network, what we like to call magical Facebook, you know, kind of thing. And that's why we talked to each other a lot. And uh, that's how we were able to speak without having to be in the exact same place. So, uh, so that's pretty much it. And uh, through insults, we became behind the scenes we became close friends and uh, so it was really weird so it's really cool and really odd at the same time that um my friendship with tom and bella are based off of insults and threatening to kill each other <laughs> it's really really funny and um uh, so now you so now you know why we decided to go that route and we were I was like you know I kept thinking Amy and Xavier aren't gonna let us do this for long um be, you know it's just like you know it's getting too much or out of character but because you guys loved it <laughs> and because everybody was having fun with it they just let us roll with it so that was that was pretty awesome and uh so that's the story of how Tonks and Voldemort uh, communicated, and why we did, and um, and now it's really cool. Uh, 
because we we met for each other in person for the first time at LeakyCon, and I hung out a good bit with them. Not as much as I would like to, um, but you know, we saw Power Puppet Pals together. I went to their uh, Dark Lore training class, and uh, and it was it was a lot of fun. And I hope to see Bella and Tom really soon. And in fact, um, when Tom and Bella started their new role play, uh, Horcruxes and Hollows, uh, Tom's sister uh, is Lily, and we started being uh, good friends through the, uh, friends through that. And luckily, we didn't have to insult each other. Tonks and Lily were becoming friends. And Catherine, uh, Tom's sister, actually lives in Georgia. And she was planning on going to Dragon Con. And I needed somebody to, you know, kind of hang out, hang out with, you know, so I wasn't walking around downtown Atlanta by myself. I mean, nobody wants to do that. And so we hung out in Dragon Con, and we had a really good time hanging out with each other. And we've had a lot of fun. And... Um, and I knew that it was okay, you know, hanging out with somebody at a con that I just, you know, that I didn't really know too well. And she knew that it was okay because I've met Tom and Bella in person and, uh, and I, so I know, so I know them and I knew that it'd be okay for me to hang out with Tom's sister. And Catherine said, uh, that Tom and Bella really liked me and, uh, actually said they spoken highly of me, which I was very flattered and very honored uh, when I heard that. Uh, so now I'm getting, so now I'm becoming friends with the whole, whole with the whole family. <laughs> and uh, only part of them wanted to kill me. <laughs> so that's the story. We don't really hate each other. They don't really want to kill me. It's just all in good fun. They don't really hate me. And... We only throw insults at each other and we do it out of love. It comes from a happy place. So that's the story.